What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a different video. Uh, I got a leg a lot recently, and uh, you know I've been seeing some some videos lately that I've really been liking of people uh, doing some unboxings of uh, their minifigure hauls, and I thought I'd try one. Uh, so I bought this lot for probably more than I should have paid for it. <laughs> um, $100. $150 or so, um, but I think there's some pretty good stuff in it. Um, just looking at it in the bag, there's a little bit more magnet minifigures going on in there than I, uh, than I initially thought, but we'll still take a look at it. We'll see what exactly we got in here. Um, make sure we get all of it out. Don't want to, don't want to forget it. Oops. All right. First things first. Let's get all these Jackstone guys out of here. I. These guys are not worth anything. They're kind of cool, you know. There's some some old school Lego stuff that you really don't see a whole lot of anymore. But like I said, these guys are absolutely worthless. These guys are maybe two dollars each at most. Um, this lot has quite a few of them in it, a little bit more than, uh, I initially thought. So, uh, I believe, I believe that's it. So, now let's get into the stuff that we know, the stuff that we know about. Um, so first things first, we do see a phase two, most likely clone trooper in here. Um, not cracked, so that's nice. Oh, wrong helmet. So we probably got a shot trooper in here too. Um, these guys aren't bad. These guys are maybe, I don't know, maybe five dollars each. I mean, not a, not a terribly high amount, but you know, something to, it's something in there. And then we do have a, uh, Star Corps trooper. Doesn't seem to have the helmet or at least can't see it yet um let's see if we can't find the shock trooper in here there's the shock trooper looks like he's missing an arm and a head so and then here's the last oops this guy's got a gun no cracks on any of these guys it looks like so that's that's a plus that's always a plus and since we can't find this guy's helmet Let's just put his head on here. I should have a spare arm for this guy. Shouldn't be any type of problem. Um, let's see. Naboo Starfighter. This guy came out in a magnet set and uh, the N1 Starfighter set as well. From, I think 2007. And this is the set version. You can tell because he's got the, the black printing in here so that's quite a bit of star wars um now i did make a little bit of a uh, mistake on this lot and i i knew in the moment that that some of this stuff was the way that it was but i didn't i didn't think about certain things so as you can probably see by the way this stuff's sticking together uh, these are magnet figures. These are old school. Uh, I believe they came out around the time of Revenge of the Sith, obviously. Magnet figures. Now, what's kind of cool about them is you can take off the arms, you can take off the heads. You know, I mean, these are actual Lego pieces, but you cannot take off the legs. The legs are magnetized, and so is something inside the torso. Um, so we got a couple of those in here. I really wish that we didn't. Um, I know that those two are magnets. Um, okay, even these generic knights, I was not aware of this, but even these uh, generic knights are also magnets. This is not the right head, um, but yeah, as you can see, these, these legs don't come off. This is not the right head either. Um, I'm not entirely, this is Achu's head, actually, for those of you who are uh, adventurous fans, might recognize that. I don't quite know what head these guys need. Now it looks like this guy's one as well. Um, so quite a few of the, this 
this is one too. And this, unfortunately. This would be a really good piece if it was not magnetized. All these are magnets. So again, I, I knew that this was a magnet piece whenever I was buying it because I could see it and I could see it didn't have its legs on and there's, there's no reason to have hips in there if it's not a magnet piece. But unfortunately, Anakin is a magnet and I assume that these are like Knight's Kingdom 1 or Knight's, Knight's Kingdom 2 maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of pile all those together. We'll see if we can't find uh, the rest of the pieces for them. Looks like whoever owned it owned two of the set. So in theory, there should be another Knight because we got the black one and the red one. Um, but looking at it, I don't see another knight. Another thing we got in here is some uh, keychain minifigures. Uh, and again, I knew that these were keychains. <laughs> I didn't realize how many of them there were. Um, this one's pretty cool, Grayskin Emperor. He's still got his Lego tag on him. Uh, this guy's obviously missing his keychain. Looks like SpongeBob as well. That's a pretty cool one. Um, not sure how much these go for. Uh, I'm going to do my best to put the prices up here kind of as I find stuff. Um, I'll do that to, to the best of my ability. Here we got another uh, Obi-Wan keychain. This guy's head has actually turned a little bit over time. I didn't really know that they could do that. I wonder how easy it would be to, to get these capes off. Because, I mean, these are, these are usable capes. We'll see. We'll see. Um, here we got a good one. This is the, I believe his name is Spider-Man 3. Ooh, a little bit of wear on the back of his head, but the printing is mostly good, and he is not cracked. And we do have the legs for Spider-Man 1 in here. And I see his body as well, and it looks like... Yep. So that's definitely the, the best thing that we found so far. Uh, that's definitely a good one. And then here's the body for the other one. That felt, yep, that felt a little bit too easy. He is cracked, unfortunately. Um, and I don't see his head either. But, I mean, those are good legs. That's still not a bad piece. I wonder what sets those came from. Well, there we go. Green Goblin. See, let's see if I can scoot some of this stuff down. See his body too. Unfortunately, it is cracked as well. This would have been a really good figure. It's still not bad. I mean, being cracked doesn't kill the value. The printing looks really good. It's actually a really nice looking minifigure. I've never had one of these before. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this guy's like $50 in good condition. I wish he wasn't cracked. I mean, this is a great looking minifigure for, what, 2002 when this came out? So he probably came out in the same set as this one. Um, let's see. I got an old school NBA player. A couple of them. Um, these are probably not really worth anything. Um, this is a good one. K3PO. No cracks. Thought we might continue the tradition of just having every minifigure be cracked, but no. So this, this one, this one, and this one. Those have definitely been our, I think this is about $20 minifigure. Um, oh, I did not see that. It's got something on it, but it's not cracked. This is a $40 torso right here. That's a good piece. This is for the uh, the Spider-Man uh, in his you know homemade costume. This is a really nice, a really, here's his legs right here, it looks like. Just gotta get a hand and an arm for him and then a head. I don't have his head, unfortunately. But no, that's, that's some really good pieces right there. Um, it looks like we do have some heads. Let's see if we can't figure out. Here's Doc Ock's head. Here's his body. I don't think he's supposed to have this color legs. I bet he's supposed to have sand green legs. Which, 
here some. Looks like we don't have any of his tentacles in here, but I mean, these are some pretty good pieces. Obviously, all these guys have gone down a lot since uh, No Way Home came out. Um, he's not cracked either. Good. Um, but I, this guy is still pretty expensive. I'm not sure about this guy's price, but I guess at the end, I'll try to put, you know, something up that says how much, uh, how much everything is worth and if we lost money or not. Here we got Pilot Luke. It's not a bad minifigure. He's not cracked. I get these orange torsos cracked all the time. And I'm just gonna double and triple check all these to make sure they're not magnets. Uh, there's his helmet. That's a probably $5 minifigure. It's not too bad. Um, Snow Trooper, looks like we got two of him. These guys aren't particularly valuable. I, I'm just hoping that we can hit that $150 mark. Um, speaking of snow troopers, we do have a couple of the Hoth uh, rebels. So, you know, the antithesis to the clone troopers, or the snow troopers, so to say. Looks like we might not have... Oh, we do have both their goggles. Okay. I don't know how much this particular version goes for. I don't have one of these, actually. I have the one with the uh, the modified goggles. But I do not have the... Uh, just this one. So not, not a bad minifigure. His goggles don't want to stay on too well. He is not correct. I didn't check the other one, but... We can assume, <laughs> let's just assume. These guys are pretty good. This is a really good piece right here. The 442nd Siege Battalion uh, Clone Trooper. Now I know that his torso is uh, the magnet version, but I have a whole bunch of these torsos. So this is good because this is like a $60 minifigure. This is probably a $20 helmet. I won't count the whole $60 toward the uh, amount that we found, uh, but that's that's still a really good helmet. Let's get some more of this stuff out of here that we don't need. We got two old school green brick separators. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then it looks like we do have a couple fake Lego objects over here, or at least one. I don't know what this dude's supposed to be. This is ugly. This is really ugly. Oh gosh. Uh, we got some black legs. It's never, never a bad idea to have some black legs. Oh, Alpha Team torso and legs. I don't know what this guy's face is supposed to look like. So, this is fake. This might be something I have to look up and uh, kind of put it in here at the end. But this is an Alpha Team torso. And we do have Anakin's hair here. I'm not seeing Anakin's face, though, unfortunately. Um, here's another fake Lego. Okay, now some of these I recognize. This is Mary Jane Watson from Spider-Man 2. So that means there should be... A Harry Osborn and a Peter Parker in here. I don't see those. What is this head? There's some sort of head hiding in this. Ooh. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. We do have the origin set in here. Let's go ahead and throw those guys together. Um, it looks like we have all the pieces. I don't know what legs this guy has, but this is his head. This is supposed to be the doctor uh, that whenever Norman Osborn takes the uh, serum to become the Green Goblin. It's the guy who assists him. And I'll, I'll put in a little group shot at the end of everything that we found. Um, and just so we can see everything completed. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is not a bad one. Um, I bet that this is a Knight's Kingdom helmet. It probably goes with one of those guys. And here we've got just a random city officer who really cares about that. Um... But yeah, so he was in that set. And then there should be, here we go, Mary Jane. I don't see her face, unfortunately. 
but we do have her torso. Here's her flesh tone face. Do we happen to have a hair for her? I'm not seeing one. So that, that's unfortunate as well. But, I mean, this is most of her. We should be able to find the hair somewhere. Um, what the heck? So we got a lot of parts in here. Not a whole bunch of finished minifigures, but definitely some parts. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't do some BrickLink research and figure out who some of these extra guys are. Let's see if we can't get everything thrown together and get a final value put together. So I'll do that real quick. All right, guys. So here's everything we got in terms of Spider-Man. This was about $152 worth. We got about $64 worth of Star Wars. And in case anyone's interested, here's the random stuff I got. And here's all the minifigures I got to add to my collection. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Represent.